Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am bringing you a like Thanksgiving makeup tutorial, something that's super like fall and autumn appropriate still, but will last you all day on your Thanksgiving dinner day. And I also have two lip options for you. I have the bold one that I'm wearing right now for the people that are a little bit more out there. And then I also show you a kind of like more brownie nude lip as well. Uh, if you want to see how I got this look, then please keep watching. So I've already done my brows as you can see, uh, that's why I'm looking a little bit crazy. But I'm actually going to colour correct today, which is something that I don't normally do. But I recently got this NYX uh, colour correcting palette and I actually really like it. The colours are super creamy and really easy to blend. So I'm going to use the like pinky peachy tone uh, underneath my eyes to cancel out any kind of uh, blue tones. And then I'm going to use the, red, the green even um, to cancel out any redness in my face. First going in with the peach, and just, I'm just using my fingers, but you can use a brush if you want to. I have quite a lot of redness in my T-zone, so I just blend it in. And you want to make sure, obviously, that you blend it in, but you don't want to blend it in to the point where you can't see the colour anymore, because, I mean, that's the whole point that you're putting it there. I'm actually going to take my damp sponge and just blend it in a little bit more. So now that we're all colour corrected, I'm going to go in with my foundation. And since we're doing a Thanksgiving tutorial, you want to make sure that your foundation lasts all day. So me, I'm, I have oily skin, so I'm going to pick a matte foundation because they're the ones that I tend to reach for if I want my makeup to just last all day and I don't have to think about having to like blot or carry powder with me or anything like that. So I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade 120. Uh, this is really, really great for oily skin. It keeps you matte the entire day. So if you haven't tried it, uh, you definitely should because it's only like, I think it's like seven quid or something like that. I'm not sure but I think it's something like that. And then I'm just going to blend that in with my damp sponge from Real Techniques. So for my eyes today, I'm actually going to be using the Blank Canvas Master Palette, which looks like this. Um, I got it uh, recently in a goodie bag uh, from a masterclass that I went to, and it looks like this. It has the most beautiful brown shades, and I swear it just screams Thanksgiving, so you can create so many nice kind of like uh, brown smoky eyes and stuff like that with this. So I did already set my eyes with this shade right here called Core, if you can see. Um, it's just a kind of skin colour like nude shade and then I'm going to um, put the lightest shade called Lily which is has slight shimmer in it it's the one right here and I'm gonna put that on my brow bone because when you put like a light shade on your brow bone it really helps to make the rest of the shadows really pop first obviously I'm gonna go in with my transition shade and I'm going to take brush am I going to take? I'm going to take my Sigma, well this is like a Sigma tapered blending brush, the uh, number has obviously come off because I use it so much, um, but I'm just going to take that and go in with, I think I'm first going to go in with the shade Brazen, right here, and I'm just going to run that through the crease. For my second uh, transition shade, just to like deepen it up even further, I'm going to go in with this shade called Forza. It's just a really nice, kind of a darker brown than the one we just used. It has more like warm undertones, whereas the other one had more pinky undertones. So I'm just going to take that on the same um, Sigma blending brush and then just run that a little bit underneath uh, the transition shade that we just put. So rather than hold it up like this, where I did with the other shade, I'm going to turn my brush this way and then keep it um, deeper into the crease. So 
So what am I going to do next? I think I want to use, I'm going to switch brushes and I'm going to go in with my Morphe M433 brush. It's a little blending brush like this, it's just a little bit more precise than the uh, Sigma one that we were just using. It's a little bit shorter but it's still super fluffy. And first I'm going to go in with the shade Coco right here, which is a kind of reddish brown, it has kind of like reddy, reddish undertones. And I'm going to go in with that first. Because I want this look to be like super warm and like chocolate. And I'm going to place this um, in the lower crease area as well, but also on the outer corner. So switching up the brush again, I want to put a even darker colour just on the outer V just to deepen it up a little bit. And I'm going to take my Coastal Scents number 12 brush, it's like this. It's basically a little packing brush but you can sort of blend out the edges as well. But I'll also go back in with my Morphe one to blend all the colours together. So I'm just going to take the shade Hickory right here. It's just a darker brown shade. Yeah, so I'm going to take my MAC 240 right here and I'm going to go in with the shade that I used to set um, my concealer on my eyes and that's the shade Core right here. It's just kind of like a bone shade and I'm just going to chuck that onto the lid. Now instead of doing liquid liner today, I want to obviously keep, still keep it really soft. So I think what I'm going to do is take the darkest shade in this palette. Let me show you. It's called uh, Corruption, right here. It's not black, it's just a really, really dark brown. I'm going to use my um, Zoeva 317 brush, a wing liner brush. It's really, really tiny, has a really nice angle to it. Let's have a look at my little house of lashes box. How cute is this? I just love this box. So cute, you can put all your lashes in there. So today I'm going to go with, let's just go with the house of lashes iconics. They're my favorite. Why stray? Why stray from your favorite? So I'm just going to use my house of lashes glue and stick those on with some tweezers. So now it's time to conceal and contour. What am I going to do first? I'm going to conceal first and I'm going to use my trusty Maybelline Age Rewind in light. Absolutely love this one. I definitely need a new one. Look how low it's getting. It's like a tiny bit left. But obviously I'm just going to put that in all the high points of my face. So now I'm going to immediately set the concealer that I just applied and I'm going to, it's no surprises really, I'm going to use my um, Soap and Glory Instant Retouch Powder. Love it, love it, love it. But you can also use any translucent powder, it can be a loose one, it can be um, a pressed powder, whatever you want. My other favourite is the Laura Mercier Translucent but I've currently run out of that so I've got to use this one instead. And I'm going to use a new brush, I'm super excited. I'm going to use my blank canvas. What does it have a number? Oh, F41 brush, like this. And I'm just going to use that to set all of the areas we just concealed. Oh my god, this brush feels so nice. I 
I'm going to use my NYX Wonder Stick in medium, is it medium? Yes, medium tan. And I'm going to use that to contour. And I'm only going to take it literally just there so that when, when we blend it out it will um, come down a little bit further but I don't want to bring it down like too low because it just doesn't suit my face shape personally so I'm just going to keep the product right back there and then my temples over my forehead obviously if you have a smaller forehead you don't need to do this on the jawline so that we can have a little facelift Putting it underneath your lip is a really great trick um, to make your lips look fuller. So that's obviously why we highlight the cupid's bow, but then you want to contour underneath your lip just to make it look a little bit fuller. I'm going to go under my nose, but I'm actually going to contour the rest of my nose with powder just because I think it gives a more natural finish and sometimes it can get a little bit messy if you're using cream contour. I'm going to use a brush for this. I'm going to use my Real Techniques sculpting brush and I absolutely love this. It's a really thick packing brush and I'm just going to use this. Before I apply my powder contour, I'm going to take this, I'm going to use another new brush, I'm going to take this blank canvas F01 brush right here, and I'm going to use our Soap and Glory Instant Retouch just to go over the cream contour, because I don't want the powder contour to like drag. Okay, now using my favourite Morphe M530 brush for contour, I love this brush. Um, and I'm going to use my other favourite for contour. This is like the perfect contour shade for me, I think. Um, and that's the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. As you can see, it has much love. I love this. First going in with Hickory, the shade right here. And I'm just gonna run that closest to the lash line. Then to blend that out, I'm going to use, I'm going to use um, Forza, the transition shade right here. And then I'm actually going to take the first um, shade that we used in our transition, the one called Brazen. You can run this a little bit lower because we can make it really nice and smoky on the outer corner. Let's highlight. And I'm going to highlight with my NYX Strobe of Genius palette. I just got this in a goodie bag as well. And look at the shades, they're so beautiful and there's so many. Like NYX is so affordable. I swear it's like one of the best affordable brands. It's okay, so now I'm going to go in with blush and I'm going to use this Linen Low Mineral Blush in the colour Mango. How pretty is it? I absolutely love this shade. It's really really pigmented though so you need to be really careful. Nice. And I do like personally on my face, like see how pigmented that is? It's crazy. Um, I personally do like to bring my blush back and I kind of blend it in between the contour and the highlight. I'm going to set my face first with the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray and douse yourself in it because you don't want your makeup to move and it will not move with this, I promise you. So I'm actually going to show you two lip combinations that you can try. I'm first going to do like a nude and then I'm going to do like a bolder one as well because I know 
Some people aren't comfortable doing the bold lips, which is kind of probably what I would do with this. But I'm gonna so I'm gonna show you a like nude option first. So I'm actually going to line my lips with Boldly Bare from Mac. Then to fill that in, I'm gonna go in with my NYX uh, Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London. This is a really nice like light brown. It's almost like a nude. So this is the first lip option, it's kind of something for everyone, I feel like anyone can wear this and it's super comfortable and it goes really well with the look, I feel like it to be honest could go with um, any eyeshadow look and obviously NYX is super affordable as well so most people could get their hands on it. I actually really like this lip with it, I think it goes really well. And for the second lip option I'm going to go for something a little bit more dramatic, so I'm going to go with my Gerard Cosmetics lip pencil in the colour Share. I'm just going to line my lips with this. And then for the star of the show, I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Sad Girl. I absolutely love this. And so here we have the dramatic lip option, super dark and vampy, perfect for like fall, but also Thanksgiving appropriate. So this is the final look you guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!